Hello, I'm Francesca and I'm the Managing Director of Future Cloud Accounting and I'm bringing you different tips to help you become a better person and better in your business. So today's video is all about how to become mentally stronger. So I'm going to share three tips that help me, personally help me. So I do a lot of gym work. And even with training, you, it takes time to build muscle. And I, I think I spent so much time in the gym helping my body, but I need to help my mind. So my number one tip is reframing those negative thoughts. And this is something you need to do literally every day to build that habit. But any time I feel negative or feel flat about something or worried about something, I turn it around so what if that doesn't work out? What if they don't like me? What if that doesn't look, sound good? What if that doesn't look good? I go, what if it does? What if they do like me? What if they do like that post? Change your mind to see the good in situations, but that will take time. And that's a daily habit you need to start and catch yourself doing it and be disciplined with that. Even if you write one small positive thought down, journal how you're feeling. Apparently, that's a game changer. Tip number two... For me, removing negative information, the news, the soap. <laughs> I used to watch the soaps a lot. And so it's EastEnders, Coronation Street, Emmerdale, Hollyoaks, all of them I used to watch. And then when I removed it, probably 10 years ago, my life didn't revolve around them anymore. I looked at positive things, stuff that would help me, mindset stuff, reading books, researching things. I know it sounds almost boring, but I find you wasting your life watching fake drama. It's drama that you don't need. So the news, you'll always find out about the stuff that's happening. You don't have to search for it yourself. You will find out about stuff. And I'm not saying you have to be blind to everything. However, doing those things, not watching the news this morning, TV anymore, um, like the Jeremy Kyle type stuff. Obviously, that's not on anymore, but just remove it. So tip number three, small goals, daily wins. It can be something so small. These, these don't have to be big. They're daily habits. So, for example, getting up earlier, having a coffee to yourself is a daily win, especially when you've got kids. That was a small win for me. Setting your alarm and getting up without the snooze button. I don't snooze anymore. That took time, but it's an amazing game changer. You just get up, get stuff done, get out for a run, go out for a walk, get a coffee and a walk. Doing those small things, small daily habits can be so, so beneficial, especially first thing in the morning. There are actually so many more things that I can share on this subject, but I'm going to stop short. I can do another one at some other point, but I hope these have helped. And thank you so much for watching.